Mark Corot for Aviation Week. I have a question for Pierce and Garrett. Uh, both of you have flown uh, to the space station in the past in, in different capacities. Um, I wonder if you can draw from that perspective and what you have seen about the Earth on this mission and tell us if you have any impressions um, that seem remarkable or memorable from uh, the differences. Thank you. I'll give you the short answer before I hand over to Garrett for the long answer. No. <laughs> no uh, the, the main impression I got was sitting in the cupola for hours is really how small the world is. Uh, you go around it in one and a half hours, but you can recognize fields, roads, city blocks down there. So it's, we live in quite a small planet. Uh, it really brought it home. And uh, I agree with Piers. Atlantis ISS, this is Houston ACR. That concludes questions from the Johnson Space Center. Please stand by for a voice check from KSBTAO. Atlantis ISS, this is KBTAO. How do you hear me? And radio really loud and clear, Casey. Loud and clear, Casey. Uh, hello, this is Marcia Dunn of the Associated Press for Commander Kotov. Um, and any of the other station crew. You mentioned the other day how scary the oil spill looked in the Gulf of Mexico, and I'm wondering, could you describe it? Um, what what does it look like? Does it look like a brown stain against blue water, or use your use your own words? Hey, Masha, uh, good to talk to you. Yeah, the oil spill uh, we are watching uh, from above every day. And uh, it's kind of sad to see the beautiful uh, sea is kind of tinted. And uh, now these days, it, uh, the, the stain kind of spread around to the south. And I heard it's going to migrate to the, the Atlantic side. But uh, we're just hoping the quick recovery uh, watching from above. <laughs> 